This guy makes over 30 million dollars a year and he's super young below 30 years old can you imagine we're about to watch all of it i wasn't going to check it out but i decided to check it out because my subscribers asked for it so let's watch the video in this video i'm going to share the exact habits that made me a millionaire at just 21 years old 21 Oh, life is crazy. I handed this, and all of a sudden, Ruben gave the thing back brown to the girl. I said, it's not for your ass, bro. Stupid. In between the butt cheeks, you know. <laughs> Everything needs to be fresh enough. Come on, man. You want the shower, you want your fucking slippers. What? When do you want your, your breakfast, when do you want your dinner, bro? Everything, man. Put, put my fucking slippers on, you know. Also get my pajamas here, you know. I'm gonna take a little money nap, you know. Ruben already knocked out next to me. Good night. See that, mate? crazy because whether which whichever part you of the plane you're at so first class or not first class we all still arrive at the same destination but let's all admit it would be nice <laughs> i hit the gym one K day after only 10 months now i have clients getting their first 1k day within a week you see the difference right beginners have the biggest fucking egos it are all people at the bottom that think they know it all and that's often what keeps them broke so if you are broke right now and you have a morning routine of four fucking hours until you get into your deep work you're, you're doing it wrong okay you're doing it really wrong you're asking me some very hard questions uh, my friend this is what i miss the least bro people like unboxings right it gets their little dopamine uh, running right <laughs> Somebody emailed me and said that he made a painting of us <laughs> and he wants to send it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, no. He did us dirty. Yeah, he did us dirty. <laughs> Private escort, you know? Men are built to conquer, men are built to develop themselves. Back in the days, they had fucking statues of themselves. We build a statue of you, it looks like fucking uh, this. Statue. Like, it, it looks okay. like this, this fat ass wagon, bro. Come on, man. This is a journey of uh, almost six years. Just to see me and my brother sit there, us now watching at ourselves with our own movie is uh, crazy. Because yeah, this was yesterday, bro. Yeah, this is me and show. my brother. Yeah. So no words, exactly what Samuel said. Great, also for ourselves as memory, you know. I'm sick and tired of me just being an, an example and people don't doing anything with the opportunity. I'm not here to just share my shit. I want you to become a better person. So go chase that ultimate version of yourself. Sick attitude. Like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe the video. Right, guys, go show some new some ready. love. I just came back actually from LA after a 16 hour flight. Now it's two days later. And we're on another first class flight straight to Amsterdam. Can't forget the car chair glasses, of course. I'll do a uh, an essential video real soon, right? What's in my bag? Because all you guys want to know. But anyway, um, quick Amsterdam trip why because we got two quarterly meetings coming up so it's of course for icon we'll be at the office discussing exactly what we are gonna do in q4 the goals the milestones Targets. what needs to get done and the same is for our coaching company millionaire commerce also this weekend we're gonna enjoy a little bit a little bit of family time me and ruben are going fishing with my parents so let's see if we yes, can catch guys. some uh, some nice will be uh, will be a nice trip back to Amsterdam a few days so good to really sit down with the team make some plans of course always it's good uh, to do calls but sometimes better to just be at the office so we're going there uh, yeah right now next to that uh, not much plans because we're already going back uh, to Dubai in a few a few days I will fly back to Amsterdam and then uh, I think after a few days I will also come to uh, LA as well I've never been to America guys do you believe that yeah it's really <laughs> true so uh, you need to get your visa sorted as well, yeah. Not to get. Yeah, but luckily uh, I have a Dutch passport, so that's easy. Yeah. Easy things, but just don't forget it because uh, no criminal rec record, guys, for the people that think. So I can just just go to the states. My camera guy, man, in that uh, regard, cannot because he's <laughs> a criminal record. No, no, no. He has not the privilege yet to have the same European passport as us, but he will get that in uh, one one year max. And then you can also uh, travel freely around the world. I can be finally free, bro. Exactly. <laughs> finally free. <laughs> he was chained up. 
but uh, when he got the European passport, well, his world will open for him, his life will change. <laughs> As I mentioned in this video, I'm going to share the exact habits that made me a millionaire at just 21 years old. So the first habit actually is uh, drinking Avion. No, it's not. The first fucking habit, and I've been practicing this habit since I was 13, 14 years old. And you know what that is, because this is exactly where it starts. And that is visualization and creating a very clear vision of the future, of yourself, of who you want to be, how you want to look, the type of life you want to live, the man or the women you want to be, right? So that's where it starts. I've always been mapping out my future, still to this day. So you can do it very simply by a vision board. Vision boards work, guys. Especially if you see it every day. So put it, for example, in your office where you work, in your bedroom. You can paste post-its on your mirror of all the things you're gonna achieve. What I strongly recommend is try to write it as if you already have achieved it. I am driving a Mercedes. I am driving a Lambo. I am doing 100k a month, right? Because then your mind already starts to live it and everything I have achieved, I could already see there, you know? Vision is so important. The man who doesn't know to which port he is sailing, no wind is favorable, okay? So if I ask you, what is your exact vision of the future? And you cannot answer it like that. I like that saying. You are destined to fail, okay? I always knew where the fuck I was gonna go to this day. Ruben, can you agree with this? Yeah, 100%. I uh, did the same thing, uh, of course. So Sam will do it. So I also did like fishing boards, <coughs> write my goals down to, as well. And it's good, you know, because uh, indeed you always wake up and then you see the goals in front of you instead of that you only write your, your goals or what you want on a piece of paper. If you always see them, then you go more after. Tell them what was on your first vision board. Uh, good question. On my first vision board, I think there was a, uh, a car on there. Yeah, 100% was a car, um, I think. I feel like he's making that up. He's like, oh yeah, good question. Yeah, what was it? Yeah, a, a big house, a car. <laughs> I feel like it's like, what was on my vision board is on your one, bro. We're brothers. Yeah, was. I was think you one? started with just small numbers, to be honest. Yeah, small numbers, small numbers. So just, uh, I think, fried my goals down. So for example, uh, a 500 a day, uh, a 1K a day, uh, 5K a day. It was like very simple. And next to that, for example, I even put things on there like read so many books uh, do this do that bench press yeah bench uh, press uh, 100 kg you know all these small small things so yeah man keep it easy in the beginning don't write too man uh, too big goals for yourself because if you make a vision board also write things that are very achievable in the beginning you know because you want to get that urge that you take off one of those boxes and if you put like these huge goals on it from the start a Lamborghini Urus and then you for example do a 10k day uh, then you're like I'm not uh, satisfied with it because I want to get the fucking Lamborghini Euros. Hundred uh, percent. <laughs> set small goals because also you want to set goals that are very easily to achieve in let's say the next months or the, or, the, or within a year at least. Because what happens momentum. then is that you start to catch momentum, you start to feel good because you're checking off these boxes, right? And if you write down I'm gonna become a billionaire and you're not a millionaire yet, you know that's it's stupid. So keep it stupid, simple and create a fucking vision for yourself okay all these these broke ass comfortable losers uh yeah what do you want to uh i don't know bro uh, all these fucking bitches they're only thinking about what they're gonna do next weekend we are mapping out what we are gonna do next month next year what is the 10 point on version of yourself right go chase it Guys, I love videos like this because it's very inspirational and makes you realize it's possible. If it's possible for one, then it is possible for all. Like I always say, let's get back to the video. Yeah, so right now at uh, first class check-in. Guys, if you book first class or business class, you have a uh, private check-in. So we're gonna go right now, jump on this flight. How many times have you flown first class actually? Uh, can't count. Too many to count? Yeah, yeah. I think maybe 25 times. That's what I think. Maybe it's more. I don't know. I asked Ruben this, but uh, would you rather fly always first class or private jet? It depends on the jet. If it's like this small little bird, as Ruben uh, says, a shitty ass little bird, <laughs> then first is better. 
But if it's like this huge motherfucking uh, jet with like full surface, three rounds of food, uh, everything sorted, then that's better, of course. So. Best airline, yeah. yeah, you know, you get little, little yeah. escortation, you know, but uh, no, the food must is be the nice, best. eh? Uh, the luxury is the best, uh, yeah, everything clean. Yeah, you don't uh, get this uh, if you fly economy. Imagine how long we should walk, I think minimum one kilometer. <laughs> Life's different at the you top. Take your protein up, you know, some scrambled eggs. Little leg workout yesterday, so some halal meat, chicken, chicken sausage. Get a little, a little hash brown in my A little bit of baked beans. Uh, you know what's the biggest problem with flying first class? Is that uh, your stomach is not big enough. Yeah. So that's, that's the ex that's the biggest problem because also you can uh, order a limited amount of food on the plane. So we're boarding in like uh, 30 minutes, and then they will say, "Okay, what do you want for breakfast?" But then I already had some breakfast here. But then you have to eat more because, guys, we come from nothing, so we get the last fucking dollar out of everything. <laughs> I hear it. Hey. Let's go to the top. Favorite features about flying uh, first. You check in way quicker, so it's no stress. You never come too late. Check in is like uh, five to ten minutes. Second half is uh, the food, so that you can just press on the button and you can order whatever you want when, you, whenever you want. Number three is the flex, of course. Well, it just looks amazing everywhere. It's dope. You feel like a king with your own bag. Or, uh, you have a, a butler. Press a button. They come whenever you want for for anything basically. So. It's just a uh, yeah, different level of luxury, yeah. so that's on the top three things. But don't forget guys, none of this means anything if you lose your soul in the process. Achieve you success know? without losing your soul. Please, it's not worth to gain the entire world, but then lose your soul. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm, I'm putting my slippers on. And I also get my, my pajamas, you know, if you want to take a little nap. But uh, I must say, so these Emirates slippers are hella comfortable, bro. Ruben wears them 24 7. Eh? It's, it are his uh, at home uh, grind uh, shoes. Yeah. I told him, bro, uh, remove these stinky ass slippers now, man. You've been wearing them for two weeks. He said, leave me alone. <laughs> well, guys, first class. First it was economy, then it was business, now it's first. and. Um, yeah, it's good every time, you know. You want the shower, you want your fucking slippers. When do you want your, your breakfast? When do you want your dinner? Bro, everything, man. Put, put my fucking slippers on, you know. Press on this, this little button here, you know. And then the butler comes, you can make your bed. You just pass out. But I don't know if I'll be sleeping there during this flight. You get your, your drinks out, you get your snacks out. Guys, quarter four around the corner. Gonna make hella money. What did I tell you? Or create a fucking vision. Man who doesn't know to which port he's sailing, no wind is favorable. <laughs> oh, good man. Just uh, oh, cooked thing. up some fragrances for my stepdad. I haven't seen him in a while, so uh, gonna be a good weekend. Did you reserve a shower before landing to uh, Amsterdam? Uh, no, thank you. You're fine? Oh, of course, no problem. <laughs> thank you so much. My name is Muhammad Ali. Anything you need throughout the flight, please let me know. It's an amazing name. Oh, thank you. Muhammad thank Ali. Yep. It's the best. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <You're right. Yeah. laughs> Time for some food, guys. So, what are we gonna do? Nice breakfast, as you can see, chicken, cereal, but you can also order main. You can basically order whatever the fuck you want. So one of the habits that made me a millionaire is just being very fucking curious, because during this flight, I can choose to binge away some Netflix, I can watch all the craziest, newest movies here, but I never do it. Most of the time I, I don't do it, because you know what I really like to do? When you're in a flight, you're just in complete peace, and I like to uh, yeah, just strategize and improve myself, right? So what does that mean? One of the hacks is get a uh, YouTube Premium subscription, because if you have YouTube Premium, you can download videos, and then you can download uh, podcasts, you can download uh, mindset videos, you can download e-com videos, dropshipping, everything, right? Just study, 
And besides that, audiobooks are good. I like to use uh, Audible and also Kindle. I have a, uh, a Kindle Oasis as well, which is very good. Then same time, I can read on the Kindle and also listen to the Audible, same time. And uh, yeah, just study, bro. Sometimes I like to uh, just write journal or I just open my notes. I'm, I'm a big note taker, you know. Okay, where do you want to go? What needs to be improved? Where am I lacking? Because that's a big one. Most of the people only focus on their strengths, where they're good at. That's not how you become better, okay? You gotta see, what do I lack? Where can I make the biggest jumps, right? So, yeah, if you uh, do that every time, instead of listening to Lil Baby, listen to Brian Tracy, right? Lil Tracy. So, uh, what was one book uh, during your comic that, that impacted your so journey? So, which book really skyrocketed me from, I was already doing good, but I was not a millionaire yet, but which made me jump to become a millionaire was the 10x rule by Grant Cardone. Because I realized I was just setting way too small targets. I was also not putting in enough effort. And this book really teaches you to set 10x goals with 10x input, which will lead to a 10x fucking outcome. Yeah, there's also a book by um, Dan Sullivan, who's also the writer of Who Not How, amazing book. But he also has the book, is uh, 10x is just as easy as 2x. And it's often true, bro. It's the same type of effort for a 10x goal than a 2x goal. So one of the things you can just do is just start setting, setting bigger goals, bro. Because I'm not different. Ruben is not different compared to you guys in the sense of that we are smarter than you no we just have a little bigger balls to set bigger goals bro and then once we set the goal we are like we are gonna do it we're gonna fucking do it bro because at the end of the day everything you want to achieve starts here with the vision and saying that really fucking believing you can do it and then attack bro attack like your life is on the fucking line and then you can uh, fly first class every fucking week bro i was two days ago in the 16 hour first class flight now again so uh love this shit there was one time uh, they were in the first class that they handed this and all of a sudden Ruben gave the thing back brown to the girl. I said, it's not for your ass bro, stupid. I'm wiping his ass here. Unbelievable guy, man. Was but, it his you know, first time first? Yeah, it was his first time. Why you otherwise use this thing for us? Uh, everything first time, you know. I didn't blame him. Clean between the butt cheeks, you know. <laughs> everything needs to be fresh enough. Bro, bro, uh, we're from Africa, man. I didn't blame him. Come on, we come from nothing. <laughs> I wonder which part of Africa they're from. Curious. So just got uh, the food served. Some nice caviar. Here's some uh, egg whites. You know, we need the protein. Also some, some egg yolks and uh, yeah, bro, just gonna munch on this a little bit together with my brother. Bro, it's priceless when you can just have a first class seat here, just with your brother doing this thing, right? Talking business, talking uh, about the next moves. Yeah, with that said, brings me to the next habit that actually in the beginning I had this wrong. I had this really wrong and that is the art of networking. When I started my journey, I was really that lone wolf type of guy because I tried networking here and there, but I got screwed over. So I was like, fuck it, I don't need nobody. I will do all by myself. Well, doing all by myself had me miss out on lots of opportunities, uh, chances, solutions. And actually, when I changed my mindset and also I started sharing my journey, um, aka building like a personal brand, you know, uh, posting on IG, my Shopify results, and just in general, you know, how I was growing in life, I saw that for some reason, people came to me, right? And networking is so fucking powerful because right now today, me sitting here in full confidence, also going forward into the next years with, uh, with our business, I think the main thing for me actually why that is, of course is the, of course the knowledge, sure. But the network, bro, I know that if let's say Icon fails or something goes wrong with the business, within a couple weeks, we'll have the next thing. Or when there is something in the back end fucked up or we need a solution, we have it. Because because I can just WhatsApp a couple exactly. people. Exactly, and uh, next to that, like the real knowledge that you get, it's not from the books, it's not from uh, watching the YouTube videos, like the real secrets you get by working close with people and really networking, you know? Because all those big entrepreneurs that you see online or uh, people that do big things with e-commerce, it's not that they gave away all the secrets in a YouTube video, but if you are friends with them, they will help you to implement those things in your business as well. So that's why it's very important indeed to network because I had exactly the same thing as Sam in the beginning. I also wanted to do everything myself. And later, once I started net, uh, networking, that's when all my big results came. Because people came to me and said like, I do this on this way, or I use landing pages, 
or uh, use these type of ads. And I'm like, oh shit, I can implement the same things. And I started implementing these things and then everything uh, yeah, went level up. So very important one. And it just makes doing business in general way more fun. Way more fun, bro. If you can brainstorm and discuss how other people are operating. Exactly, yeah, for example, what I'm now also doing, I'm now building sort of a, a board team of friends that I have that also do big things with e-com, in which I do, for example, on a monthly basis or weekly basis calls with, because then you get so much new knowledge that you can implement in your business. And especially as a CEO, the most important thing that you need to do is come up with new ideas. And you will come up with new ideas, of course, by reading, of course, by watching YouTube videos, but even more with net by networking with people. What's like the best place people can uh, network? So the number one place is online for sure that's so that's uh, instagram it's the instagram is the number one networking LinkedIn. tool is especially it? if you do it in combination with number two that's what i did is start traveling because if you then come new places you can basically based on the location or other people you might see in your space simply drop them a message say hey let's go to the gym together hey let's go for lunch gym is also a good place to network but Nowadays, bro, Instagram is real life. People, they can talk all day long, but if you're not on Instagram, even if you're not trying to build a personal brand, bro, we don't all have to become an, an influencer or no, I don't build a personal brand because I don't want to be a guru. You don't need to be a fucking guru, okay? But what you need to have is you need to have all these fucking opportunities and grab them. So that's why uh, it's good. Even if you have uh, like a brand that you're building, push yourself a bit more forward as the founder, you know, because then people can connect with you on a Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever platform it is. And then when you're in a Dubai, a Marbella, whatever, then it's like this, like this, like this. You're meeting people and then just like Ruben said, other people with a brand can then share their solutions, their systems with you, which can skyrocket your business to the next level. Exactly, and it's very easy. You can just uh, check online uh, with guys that also do, do big online. Okay, where are those people going? To which gyms are they going? Maybe to which hotels? And you can also, for example, get a gym membership there. And if you become a personal value, of course you will bump into those people and then you can have a quick chat with them. And if they see, ah, oh, you're a cool guy, you're a normal guy, you also do some nice things with your own business, then they're also willing to network with you. So now you know exactly, guys, how to go to the next level with your network, with putting yourself out there, right? Because, bro, sitting still, doing nothing, and just thinking that you will figure out everything yourself means you have a way too big ego. You don't know shit, bro. I don't know shit. Ruben doesn't know shit. But you know what the thing is? If you have the people around you who can challenge you or basically show you a different path, a little light bulb goes off, bro, that can make the change. <coughs> I've had people share contacts with me or a certain partner to work with that saved my fucking business, bro, or that doubled my fucking revenue. It's the shortcut. And if you are in here just trying to do it all yourself, you'll lose. You'll fucking lose. So I was waiting for them to stop talking, basically, so I can add this for you guys, because they're dropping some golden nuggets. A lot of my businesses that I started, the only thing that separated me from, you know, achieving some level of success was the action. So even if I didn't know what I was going to do, I would just do the thing, you know, become obsessed with just taking the action. Anyhow, you're better off doing the wrong thing than not doing anything at all. So just take the action. I, I kid you not. Even this YouTube channel, I was like, oh, you know, I can't be bothered to make content for this channel. It's been a while. It's been a minute. I was like, oh, you know what? If I'm going to. I genuinely because i was going to genuinely watch this video the video you're watching right now i was genuinely going to sit down and watch it because yo it's always good to learn right and i was like well why don't i just watch it along with my people um on here the, hence to what we're doing right now but i would genuinely sit down and consume content because you never know what you can learn from someone who's been where you want to go so drop the ego most people aren't broke because they don't know they're broke because of their ego is stopping them so drop the ego and you'll see it man Hey, hey, hey. Okay guys, so I'm gonna take a little money nap, you know. Ruben money already nap. knocked out next to me. I decided to put these little pajamas on. She made the bed for me. So with that said guys, good night. Crazy man. Ciao. Oh my days. So just came off a very fucking smooth fright. We are back in the Netherlands, Amsterdam. So yeah, right now uh, we're gonna check until they open uh, the doors here. Then it's uh, quickly to the penthouse. Then I have to get some stuff sorted. Also a couple of meetings later during this day. But uh, a pretty smooth flight. But uh, 
just a bit sleep, but deprived. Didn't sleep too much tonight. I think two hours. Then on this flight, another two hours, but it's not deep, deep rest, right? So, yeah, with that said, you guys will see, man. I got, I got some more secrets, secrets here in my, my Coco bag. You're coming. You gotta hustle, man. You have to put in the hard work. This stuff don't come easy. It doesn't come easy. The infamous water filter. Infamous water filter and some infamous oatmeal. How's your routine these days? It's uh, pretty straightforward. It's always wake up early, so uh, before six, but it depends on the location. They woke up around six, but in Dubai I uh, like to wake up maybe 5 a.m. or so, but I'm still kind of adjusting uh, a bit to the time zone. Yeah, then it's straight away to some breakfast. I like to have my oatmeal, almond milk or water. Then I grab some blueberries. Frozen, just add it to the mix. Then I heat this for a couple minutes. But in general, I like stuff that's fast, you know? So, okay, wake up early, uh, prayer. Then I uh, straight away make my, my, my breakfast, my oatmeal. Get myself a little shower journal through what I'm uh, yeah, grateful for always out of gratitude I read a little bit of the Bible I read a little bit of quotes then I'm ready to attack you know so then I go to the gym afterwards the gym I um, or during my gym session I'll already I'm doing some deep work some studying and then later in the day I try to do some more studying some more reading because at the moment the most valuable thing as a leader as a CEO it's not what you do in the business, it's what you do on the business. It are your bigger choices, your bigger moves. That's why it's good to always expand your frame of mind. How can you be more, more different compared to the rest? What are the next steps? Especially when you're setting trends or when you try to be ahead, you gotta make sure that you're top of the game, right? So that's why reading becomes more important the further you come in your journey. In the beginning, it's less important. That's why I always say to beginners, don't always do exactly what, for example, I'm doing right now or what your, your ultimate idol who is already so far ahead is doing because this, this is really what got it? them there and what got me here is just pressing that fucking button to a fucking cup of coffee comes out and I opened my laptop and I went straight to work you know I cut out the time of all the fucking habits of course you you gotta stay on track of course I was going to the gym of course I was being uh, as healthy as I could but what's your priority right now my priority is a good peace of mind making sure my head is clear to make good choices throughout the day what is your priority as a beginner uh -huh. I think it's to knock out as much work as you humanly can so that's it would you say uh, waking up early contributed uh, to the fact that you became a millionaire it depends on what you classify as Good early. Question. I've always been someone who woke up late at 6.30, 7 ish, when we're talking like consistently in the weekdays. So maybe that's early. So then, yes. But when we talk early, like the 4 a.m. to 5 a.m., that came later throughout my journey, you know, when my life got a lot of, uh, of comfort, you know, of all the success, and I want to push it for the next level. So for me, to go to millions a month consistently, hell yeah, bro, hell yeah. Because to do millions a month in your early 20s, what do you need? Discipline, bro. Because you can uh, get distracted so quick with the money you're making, the temptations you have, and of course it's too good to indulge here and there. Bro, you know my life, you know what I do, I go crazy sometimes, but I cannot lose myself. And that's why having a strict routine that makes you stronger, that builds mental fortitude, keeps you in check. is key. So yes, for sure. Those 4 a.m., 5 a.m. clubs made me a monster. <laughs> Can you also share uh, some mistakes you've made in the beginning for people uh, to avoid them basically? Yeah, so guys, I made a shitload of mistakes, bro. I had no clue what I was doing. But the biggest mistake I made is trying to figure everything out myself. And what I mean by that is if you don't have the knowledge yet, the best thing you can do is look for one or two persons in the space that have a track record and just watch their YouTube video, buy their beginner course or try to get at least some guidance because my start was 
or can be classified as slow, although when I look back right now it went pretty uh, quick. But I had my first 1k day after only 10 months. Now I have clients getting their first 1k day within a week. You see the, you see the difference, right? That's all because I did everything myself. I didn't look for, for help. And matter of fact, actually the moment I looked for help and I bought a course, that was when I did that 1k day. And that's also why it's so important to invest in yourself. Put your ego to the side. You know what I really found out? Beginners have the biggest fucking egos. It are all people at the bottom that think they know it all and that's often what keeps them broke. No bro. I and I see this video. I see this with a lot. So maybe don't don't judge others. Maybe first look at yourself in the mirror and think, maybe I have a big ego. Maybe it's true. Don't try to figure everyone out. If you see someone who's further than you, chances are they know something you don't know. So the biggest mistake I made is not learning for enough from other people, not investing enough in myself because that's the shortcut and at the end of the day I'm here trying to go fast you can try to go slow and steady but bro What's the if point? you want to make all the mistakes yourself you're not gonna make it because you're competing with motherfuckers like me competing with clients like mine who have all the answers who have the blueprint who are growing quick so that's 100% what I would say, bro. I, this small-minded boy that I was, it was unbelievable. I was stupid, I'm not gonna lie. I was stupid, I was lazy, I had a big ego, I thought I knew it all, um, my, my world around me was small, and all of that changed when I changed this. So, change your mindset, change your life. Just like the Bible says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so, look, you have to change your mind, man. It's a lot of mind game work. Okay, guys, so I like to start the morning with with faith, you know, like with connecting with God, connecting with higher power. And um, yeah, I have this book here. It's called Jesus Calling, but it says a new nice. month, October. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, I'll and give you I rest. will give you rest. Amen. Bro, my faith has been extremely important throughout my journey, but I never took it too serious because I come from a, uh, a household where I had to figure a lot of stuff out myself and your journey with faith you have to figure out yourself people can push you of course i went to church when i was younger of course but i never really went to church if you see what i mean right i was not there but right now when i'm reading these quotes so here it's october 1st it gives me quotes every day like worship me i'm king of all kings lord of all lords dwelling in unapproachable light i'm taking care of you and i'm not only committed to taking care of you but i'm also absolutely capable of doing so rest in mm -hmm. me my weary one for this to form of worship worship me by resting peacefully in my presence and and that's where the power comes in of of faith you know and the power is you can let a lot of stuff go most humans they're stressing all day about all these things going on in the life material shit da 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 bro God has figured out 99% of those things already for you. Let Amen. it go. You're stressing about things that are already handled, you know? Amen. And that's why my faith and my peace is extremely important because where I'm at right now with all these employees, businesses getting bigger, way more stress, way more people depending on me. I gotta keep my, my mind as, as clean as I can. And the best way to do that is to have faith because, bro, at the end of the day, I can only be thankful for where the fuck I'm at. That I'm here right now in my Amsterdam penthouse. Well, I have a house in, in Dubai as well. Everything paid for. I have a very amazing life. Good people around me, bro. Every day I wake up, I try to be as grateful as possible. But of course, we are all human beings, you know. Uh, one of the things us your humans have is always to look further for what we don't have or where we can grow or where we can improve. But I try to stand still as much as I can, share gratitude because gratitude attracts these blessings, okay? I just see it with the best performing people around me. I see it with the, the best entrepreneurs in the space. They all have a form of of gratitude and then you become a magnet and we can also flip it around right them guys at the bottom them losers them brokies the guys in my fucking comments what is the last thing they are they are not grateful you know so what happens they only see what they lack and they attract more of what they don't have right so that's why never hate on someone never give bad blood when you see someone living it up because actually you're telling the universe you're telling God that you don't want it you know so 
That's it. Turn it down to nothing. Give me the crown or something. You know, for the G's back when I'm told me how to stun it. Pops will slay the game. You will get into the bucks, but I ain't if you watch this video, oh well, I came in to watch a normal finance video. It's like no wonder you're broke. Things like this doesn't inspire you. How can this not inspire you? And a man is telling you, I I I'm here because I stuck with God. They're not perfect, obviously. But this is golden. This is priceless. As I said, I was, I was, this is content that I consume. I was going to watch this by myself behind the camera. I just decided to bring you guys along with it. Okay. So right now, if you're at home, you don't know what to start. You don't know what business to start. I challenge you, start a YouTube channel and just start bringing people along. You're, you're doing things that people would want to watch. But all you're doing is you're just not switching the camera on. Switch the camera on. You're going to be surprised at how much money you can end up making by just Recording yourself. Switch the camera on. Next time, just switch the camera on. I'm telling you. Uh, how important is Life changing, it to, uh, man. Always stay in shape. Always stay healthy for you. For me, it was extremely important because the better you're shaped, the better you feel about yourself. To get in shape, you got to be consistent, aka build discipline. And you know, it all shines down to everything you do. So if you're very confident, if you like yourself a lot, if you have this inner power, this strength, this testosterone, because you've been hitting the gym, well. You're more dangerous. You're way more dangerous as an entrepreneur. So that's why I recommend everyone to become in your best shape because your best shape self doing business compared to your out of shape self. Uh, I will always bet my money on uh, the one who's in shape because that one has just created a better yeah, set of habits, mental fortitude and also uh, bro, it's just confidence. I feel good about myself everywhere I go. Every networking gathering I step into, I know that I'm the man or when I meet new people, I don't second guess myself if I'm good enough or how I pull up everywhere I pull up I pull up the best I can and it's a form of self-respect so when you look in the mirror and you look like shit in some regard you've neglected yourself you've not have an, had enough respect for self and I had a shitload of self-respect since I was 14 still to this day hence why you see my life flourishing so much is because I feel that I deserve that and if you don't have a lot of self-worth raise it raise it by putting in the work because the work instills the worth that's it. And uh, for the people striving to get their first million, would you recommend them to work out in the morning or in the evening? No, I would say work out on a time that you don't have most of your focus because you want to use all your focus for your business to go to that million, to become a millionaire. So I used to always work out in the evening because in the evening I didn't really have focus and I just cleared my mind by going to the gym. Right now I go to the gym in the morning. Why is that? Because my habits and my routines, just be having complete clarity is most important to me. But let's say right now I have to absolutely crush some work for some new objectives. I'll be up straight away grinding so whatever is most important to you should come first so if you are broke right now and you have a morning routine of four fucking hours until you get into your deep work you're, you're doing it wrong okay you're doing it really wrong put it way and you can do it on autopilot if gymming is not your most important thing like your shape with me it was not of course I want to be my best shape but it was not my priority so I did it at a time where I just did it to clear my mind I did it on autopilot I wasn't the most focused but I still got it done yeah that's what i would say i like that it makes sense so basically prioritize if you're broke then obviously what prioritize becoming successful right? the netherlands are one thing you don't miss at all i miss this weather you know sometimes it reminds Come me of on. the rainy days of where i started you know but uh no definitely this is what i miss the least bro good weather is just fucking key for me to live my best days you know but uh what i do miss mm, you're asking me some very hard questions, uh, my <laughs> friend. Not much, to be honest. Just the, the office. Yeah, the office and the consistency. I, I miss the, okay, I have my dog here, my family here. You have a set group of friends, you know, in, in Dubai, maybe a lot of people come and go. So we're going to the Icon office. Today we have our quarterly uh, meeting, so the most important meeting pretty much of the year because it's quarter four. We discuss our Black Friday plans. Uh, the plans have already been made, but we're now uh, yeah, finalizing everything, writing everything down, tell the people uh, yeah, the goals that we have, uh, what needs to be done. And yeah, go deeper on the past quarter as well. So uh, quarter tier three, we uh, finished it, it all very, very nicely with some uh, yeah, good results, highest profits uh, of the year as well. So yeah, I'm 
I'm very happy, very pleased that uh, yeah, we're already doing great numbers. But yeah, it just needs to be get better, you know, because um, especially now before Black Friday, what we want to do is really uh, yeah, scale up ad spend, get a lot of new customers in that we then later can retarget in uh, Black Friday. Yeah, everything is set, you know, we already placed like orders beginning of this year for Black Friday. We will have like so many products, it's yeah, unbelievable to think of that we will have Crazy. around, uh, what is it, 600,000 uh, items in total to sell for the whole uh, quarter four also, a little bit in quarter one. So uh, yeah, wow. we, it will be just a very nice day in which we go everybody uh, their position, everybody their responsibilities. You guys will, uh, I will take you along in the office and uh, you will see it there. Yeah. Uh, Would you say this is something else you missed uh, yes. in, in the Netherlands, the cars? Uh, honestly, I didn't miss the Euros. Bro, I blasted the Euros all summer and also I'm not that attached to material stuff. So it's fun, it's a Euros Pro Capsule, but bro, I've got a Cullen in as well. More cars on the way, so. But we're gonna do something special to the Euros though. So, but you'll see, you'll see. that just a little bit okay put that bitch in Corsa oh man I definitely have not forgot that shit so mm, yeah that means I, I need more cars need more cars also in Dubai because the gully hey guys don't underestimate the gully that thing is crazy fast it just doesn't have like these these bang 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 gunshots below it but just open up that exhaust in the garage and uh, Ruben was like, what the fuck bro, loudest exhaust ever. Just like I was sharing on my story, if you don't know where you're sailing, no wind is favorable, right? So we're gonna map out the goals right now, excited for today quarterly meeting. Also got another quarterly meeting tomorrow with the, the coaching company and we're just gonna dominate bro. But that's it bro, habits made me a millionaire. So if you want to become a millionaire right now, first thing you gotta get in check is your habits because how the hell do you want to do big things if you cannot even do the small things? Wake up at a, a normal and the same time, eat your meals, go to the gym. Bro, it, it fucking builds you, right? Because you know what it is, the blueprint is there. I can show people exactly from A to Z how to become a millionaire with their e-com business. I've, I've got the fucking blueprint, okay? Works time and time again, but you still gotta do it. You still yeah, you gotta, gotta do fucking it. do it and execute. Yeah. So if you cannot execute because you're this weak, soft motherfucker, then what are you gonna do, right? And everything in, in life has a price, right? So you becoming a millionaire has a price too. The price is often putting in sacrifices, waking up early, following your habits and you know you gotta become the businessman before you have the business plan so if you are a person that continuously fails and fails and fails how the hell all of a sudden if i give you the golden blueprint you think you will win no bro lock in okay it's all worth it because show me a man's habits and i will show you his future and yeah it made me a, a machine it made ruben a machine it made my my people in my team a machine and you don't have to be perfect bro don't try to be perfect because you cannot nobody here is perfect but you can remove all these weak ass comfortable selfish desires that you have only thinking me me i don't feel i i i this that bro you sound like a small girl bro I swear man up men are built to conquer men are built to develop themselves bro guys in back in the days they had fucking statues of themselves if we build a statue of you it, it, it looks like fucking this like it, it looks like this this fat ass wagon bro come on man you want to look like a dangerous man outside and inside be a dangerous man when it comes to how you appear be a dangerous man when it comes to your business i'm feared in the space right now you know why i'm feared because people know time and time again they keep doing it they keep hitting it they keep going bigger they're like how oh, man and they then they see you hit another record get another car be with that other hot chick time and time again that's when you are feared you, you, that happens when you're consistent bro 
When you're a consistent man who follows his habits, oh bro, that's the motherfucker I would place my bets on. That's the motherfucker you cannot win against, bro. How can you win from someone who has the ability to think big, is consistent, follows his habits? Nah, man. Impossible. In combination with a, a fucking blueprint. <laughs> so, you will see. You'll see everyone around me growing. You'll see me become a different type of animal. You see my business hit new levels. It's all based on solid core principles, okay? Principles in how you should operate, principles how you should treat people, principles on how you take care of yourself, principles of who you want to be. It are all principles. There are certain things you do that I would never do, okay? There are certain things I don't do because I feel too good to do them. There are certain things I do because I feel I have to do them to be able to be the person I want to be. And those are the exact things that maybe you're lacking on, bro. So, take an inventory of yourself. Be fucking honest just for once, okay? Be honest. What needs to change, you know what needs to change. And go after that. Your future self will be proud of you. I'll be proud of you. Your family will be proud of you. And just for once, you'll be able to look in the mirror and think, that's a fucking monster, not a little bitch. Wow, nice little rock that guy. Touchdown. We have the item of this fully packed. Can you give us a, a quick update on what changed since the last uh, office video? You're referring to the office tour, right? Yeah. A lot has changed. The uh, team got bigger, especially when we look uh, downstairs. It's completely packed, packed with products, packed with desks, packed with a lot of shit. But uh, most importantly, uh, the structure of the whole business went up to a new level, you know? So uh, yeah, it's serious, you know? When we compare ourselves to other brands, they uh, don't have the same type of structure we have. So, uh, but today is. It's gonna be good, powerful. This will put everything ready to go uh, big during the next uh, the next month. So, bro, that's also the advice. You know, if you want to go bigger with your own ecom business, maybe you're at 100k a month already. I know that's a big goal for many, but if you want to grow further, start changing the mindset from be it being a hustle, it just being a dropship store, to building a real fucking business, a real corporation, real structures, real systems, real team. So that's what's needed bro that's what's needed step one for most of you people watching is just get your fucking income store up bro i was working at my my mom's house at, at uh, this little desk next to my mom bro broke a shit on this laptop and didn't have a clue what i was doing bro all of a sudden poof we're here right full office millions a month how the hell did that happen but it happened because of just one reason i started i opened that store so that's step one don't overcomplicate it i didn't overcomplicate it i just started bro just threw myself in front of the wolves i was like everything is better than the alternative alternative was working for a boss i hated a nine to five i hated and i didn't chose that i chose Ouch. to go bigger so that's what you got it that was that was solid think about it what is the alternative the alternative is you're stuck where you at oh well at least i'm comfortable yeah you're comfortable being a loser <laughs> i might start checking out some mansion videos Mega mansion videos because somebody suggested it to me and I'm always interested in looking at mansions watching mansions on YouTube So I might watch them along with you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below And we should have a look at which products right now are the lowest in the refund rate and then build more on that Yeah, I never got so many compliments of people in my environment and around me about the certain items and that's what happened with activewear so many people said I love the items uh Somebody emailed me and said that he made a painting of us <laughs> and he wants to send it and I couldn't say no. I was like, okay, here's the address, you can ship it. First, yeah, first fan, like. fan mail of the, uh, of the channel? No, no, no. no, no. no. Oh. We already well, received well, the Anua and Sensor. Oh, yeah, 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 How you disrespect us like that? <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, come on, man. I filmed it too uh, earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for being a partner for so many years. I hope for this guy that he did a good job because this will make or break his complete career. Yeah. 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 Okay guys. I'm
No way. No way. He did us dirty. Like I said, we never went to the gym. <laughs> oh, but I look like a banker or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the effort is nice. Yeah. 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 yeah, you did some good effort. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Right. Only uh, our faces look a bit uh, suspicious. A bit squashed. But a shout out to uh, Ian, Coreano. Thank you. We appreciate uh, the gift. We will give it a nice uh, place in the office. For sure. Now we have, uh, this is another gift. They're lying, they're going to throw This is a gift it. by one of my clients. He has a neon company, but he is he's a serious client. He uh, sold it, half his company for uh, like 8 million bucks. It's crazy, so it's not a beginner, it's a mastermind client. But what he made here will look very nice, I think, uh, there. Yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks the best in dark yeah, spots. True. So mm -hmm. that has the dark background, so maybe above the the, 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 the closet maybe or maybe in the toilet for you to light uh, to have light when you <laughs> fall asleep <laughs> people uh, like unboxings right yeah it, it gets their their little dopamine uh, running right <laughs> well, when I was playing FIFA you always uh, were unboxing those, uh, packs yeah, yeah. <laughs> FIFA packs <laughs> this one is sick. Yeah, that's that's nice. Fair play. <laughs> that's cool. Anything uh, spicy I've come you're on? on? Any, 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 uh, Ask the man himself. Anything spicy you're working on? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, lot of really cool stuff coming for next uh, summer. Um, really hard real. stuff, uh, but I can't show you because a lot of uh, <laughs> show, show, Whoa. show which item you're the most proud of of the new uh, fall winter collection. Yeah. In terms of this color jacket um, and also this puffer as well. Let me turn it up for you. Yeah, that's cool. So I think it's the first time we'll have like a really cool pop color uh, in the jacket. So, guys, what's coming this? Also, nice the details, but what's coming this winter? We have normal puffer jackets, we have with long sleeves, we have wind uh, windbreakers as well, we have sweaters, we have loafers, we have uh, knitwear, we have uh, even uh, cashmere sets, everything, yeah, we, have, we have suits, underwear, underwear, okay guys, so it's almost 6 p.m., had an amazing day here at the office, quarterly meeting, everyone was dialed in, the full team was yeah, locked in to uh, crush the next few months, made amazing plans. I'm just excited, you know, because we put a lot of on the line and I really feel that this is a turning moment in the history of the brand Icon to push us to a new level, you know, and uh, yeah, I'm very fucking excited for that. And you know what people really need to understand? Uh, they see me uh, running this business right now after a couple years they see me have also multiple streams of income uh, they see me do many things at the same time right but that should not be your initial goal because this is not what got me here what got mm -hmm. me here and what made Focus. me a millionaire is just one business model you know like people they want to dip their toes in real estate crypto a little bit of ecom too then this then that bro what the fuck are you doing choose one thing and give all your life to it and then you'll be successful because the most successful people in the world they all became a millionaire with guess what one thing okay one thing yeah right now when you look at them they might uh, be a multiple business owners they have investments and things of that sort but that comes after you became a millionaire okay so don't be this jack of all trades, master, master of, none, of none, because I see plenty of them. I see them all online, dipping their toes in everything, but guess what? Not killing it in any of them. And I'm here, winning, because uh -huh. e-com is my thing, my bread and butter, that's where I will always stay. So become a fucking master. If you're mastering your field, bro, you'll be in the 0.0.1%, just like me. That's where I want you to go. Focus, bro, focus. We live in a world where this motherfucking attention. thing is sucking your attention left, right and center. And that's with all the opportunities and things you see, people messaging you, da da da, right? A shitload. So your skill should be to focus, to have discipline 
and in this case just have one priority bro one business model thank me later believe me thank me later that's it this video so, guys, is packed of gems man we have man. the quadly objectives this is for q3 of course now q4 started today so ruben which ones of these things we can stripe up okay so first of all we have a new finance manager we have a new finance manager next to that we did 8 million in revenue in q3 to be wow. specific how much revenue we did it was 8.2 million wow. this needs to get blurred but uh, a new brand is coming and it's uh, not live yet 30 percent uh, profit in the netherlands we also uh, did trust pilot also no trust pilot we went to 3.7 we went from 3.6 to 3.7 okay 50 percent of revenue outside the eu i think we're not on there yet i think now 40 percent is out the, outside the EU um, but I need to check that and the same goes with this one you also didn't hit that because it was like I think 800,000 but this one we do hit the end of NOS items these are major stuff. goals man now it's fighting out the new goals so we will crush it we already set the new targets I will not tell the new goals yet because they're so big I want to keep it for myself but yeah, with Black Friday, we will. What, uh, one thing we want to do, and that's what we will do for sure, and that's one million in a day. I think we can do multiple one million in a day. Next to that, yeah, I think we really, yeah, go clear this uh, quarter for you know we have such big plans. Uh, we will really distinguish ourselves from the competition. I think in this quarter. So I don't want to say too much. That's the secret. <laughs> yeah. Wow, they're running a mega business, man. Mega. Was the work dinner? Okay, guys, that's the quarterly meeting of Icon done. We're gonna go home right now, grab some rest. Today was absolutely crazy. Tomorrow, I have uh, another quarterly meeting of another company of mine, and I will drop some of the final, most insane gems I have. That's it, stick around. He's already dropped a bunch of gems, man. This is crazy. Escort, you know? Did they really get a private escort? Crazy so, stuff is. Uh, I feel that it's finally out, bro. When I was five years old, yeah. and fourth. This is, this is... This That's is, the video we checked out. Bro. Crazy yeah, video. Yeah, bro. This is not, of course, we, we were recording this Your some time back. But right now, here, it's here. And uh, also, family. this is so a journey of uh, almost six years. Wow. So just to see me the and my brother man, sit there kids, so, yeah, and uh, okay. us now watching at ourselves with our own movie is. Uh, it's you priceless the most because this was yesterday, bro. Yeah, this is me and show, my brother. Yeah. But uh, in some regard, I have everyone to can create a, uh, a journey like us, bro. But when you are young, you just got to think bigger no and demand uh, more from yourself. Options. Option one is because to, we could have uh, accepted yeah, to stay in that village. Go more yeah. hard in the corner. No, man. For option two. We always went for option two. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Priceless. No words, exactly what Samuel said. Just, uh, yeah, great also for ourselves as memory, you know, to look back uh, on what we already achieved so far. Because sometimes you don't uh, stand still uh, with the things that you do possess and achievements that you do have. But these things, or just sometimes visiting uh, your family or your hometown. Uh, these small things now have like a, a huge impact, you know, because especially um, some people cannot relate, but if you have like a big business to run um, and everything goes so fast and you only are on to the next thing and on to the next thing every time, sometimes you forget to stand still by where you come from, you know, we come from there. Guys, this is absolutely insane. The amount of gems that he dropped. If you don't consume videos like this, not really on a day to day because you need to be working on your business side hustle and trying to get ahead in life. But every now and then, whenever you're doing your research, if you don't consume content like this, I can't lie to you. I, I don't think there's hope for you. Reason being is you need to take in new information that doesn't already exist in your head and there's always something that you could learn from someone or for, from people who are currently at a level where you'd you aspire to be at one day with this being said 
take the time to take in new information and then don't just do nothing with it apply it to your business and you're going to see it's going to take you to levels that you never thought you was, you're probably gonna arrive what did we learn from this entire video they couldn't have anticipated arriving there yes everybody has planned you know we're gonna grow big one day but to know exactly where they are where they've what they've reached what they've been able to accomplish at this level is i've not heard eyes have not seen what these two men were able to accomplish brothers so it's possible as i've always said if it's possible for one it's possible for all hit me up guys i don't know if for the random freak weird reason that they end up watching this i would love to do a podcast and interview them with a bunch of sick questions from you guys from our other channels and yeah and let's get it done i'm sure they're busy they've got all other things to do but I'll, I'll be more than dedicated to be able to do that so for the for the chance odd chance that they are watching samuel hey let's get this podcast going but god bless you so much in jesus mighty name i'm so thankful that you're a christian as well the whole point guys is to obtain success without losing your soul in the process it does not make sense for a man to gain the entire world but lose his soul in the process what what, what was the point what was the point do you understand like subscribe do all of that fancy stuff and i'll catch you guys on the next one comment which video i should check out next and uh yeah stay tuned